What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the obviously awesome Doctor Disaster, and for some reason, the people who like the changes to the Adeptus Custodes by Games Workshop are under the impression that it's a good idea to keep gaslighting fans of 40k. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. These people have begun stealth editing the Warhammer 40k Wikipedia page for the Adeptus Custodes, changing references describing this all-male faction to language that could be for both males and females. This is similar to the Wikipedia editing war that has been going on with Yasuki after the Assassin's Creed Shadows debacle, but now these local Locusts have descended on Warhammer, using 1984 as a how-to guidebook, because they think they know better than you. I am a genius! You're a boy! Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But let's dive into these changes that have been made on the Adeptus Custodes page of Warhammer Wiki. Initially, I was made aware of this issue by this post from Twitter user Big E. And then this user, Danny Fortuna, pointed out that the post originated from him on the Facebook page Warhammer 40k Heresy Posting. Whoever is responsible for this info has my thanks. In any event, let's look at these screenshots of the Adeptus Custodes wiki. You can see that the original version of the page had a quote from the Emperor of Mankind that said, These men are my body guards, and then underneath you can see that it was edited to say, these warriors are my bodyguards. You! You liar! Now, if we go back to the actual page right now, you can see that this particular change has been edited back, but there are other changes that have not been altered. Like this one here, you can see in the original version on Wikipedia, it says the Custodes is an elite cadre of genetically engineered transhuman warriors. But in the altered version, it says they are an elite cadre of genetically engineered transhuman male and female warriors. Ah! Oh, bullshit. All of it. And if you look at the actual page, as of the time of this recording, it still says the male and female part. And then here, in the original version of the page, it referred to the Custodes as a brotherhood of demigods. And it was changed to an order of demigods. And once again, this has not been changed on the actual page as of the time of this recording. Lies. Oh, lies! So here's the thing. It is incredible to me how out of place all of this gender activism shit is in Warhammer 40k. I'm gonna read something else to you in order to illustrate how damn stupid and out of place all of this is. This comes from the top of the homepage at the Warhammer 40k wiki. In this third paragraph here, it says, to be a man in such times is to be one amongst untold billions. It is to live in the cruelest and most bloody regime imaginable. These are the tales of those times. Forget the power of technology and science, for so much has been forgotten, never to be relearned. Forget the promise of progress and understanding, for in the grim dark future there is only war. There is no peace amongst the stars, only an eternity of carnage and slaughter and the laughter of thirsting gods. 
Now, does that sound to you like a place where they're going to be concerned about gender equality and shit? Moreover, I'd like to point out that of all of the fan bases that I have encountered in my decades as a big old nerd, 40k fans are among the most dedicated to their lore. So this 1984 shit, where they try to edit the past and then Jedi mind trick the fans? Yeah, mind tricks gonna work on me! 40k fans are way too passionate and informed to be fooled by this kind of nonsense. In fact, it was this kind of gaslighting that really pissed off the fans in the first place. You likely remember that when Games Workshop first tried to introduce this retcon, they said in this Twitter post, Since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians. And this was their fatal mistake. If they had simply said that the Emperor, I don't know, decided to start using females for some contrived reason, this may not have had the backlash that it did. But they tried to gaslight us, and that really pissed the fan base off. But I'm going to leave it there. I'm hopeful that many of you will stay on top of this topic and ensure that things that were altered get reverted back to their original correct form. The gaslighting must not succeed without a fight. But drop your thoughts in the comment section below and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.